what we're going to do is we are actually going to take apart the uh, this Makita tool. This is model number XPH12. This is the mid-range half-inch hammer drill, brushless LXT motor, of course. Taking apart your tools and cleaning them, I guarantee you your tools will last longer because what happens is the dust builds up in the inside. The motor gets hotter and worn out faster because of the extra material inside the tool. And so once in a, like once every couple, once a year or once every two years, it's better to take the tool apart and actually just uh, clean it up really quick. You know, just get all the extra dust off. Now, the main thing you have to be sure of is for the transmission and chuck, make sure that the orbital gears are, uh, a lot of them don't fall out. Because if you keep the orbital gears in their spot, if this is a very easy job, but if you if they just so happen to fall out, you got to make sure you put them in the right order. And so yeah, so let's take this apart really quick and uh, and clean this. All right. So one feature that I love that uh, Makita has is the back. It has the separate plate on the back to where it has the two screws right here, and that makes it major major convenient uh, for taking apart the clamshell. So that comes out, that is the fan for the motor. The uh, fan is plastic. This should actually be a very easy disassemble. But I think, I think we're okay. There we go. Yeah, that's at this dirt right there and dirt on here, that's dust. See, it's better to not to have. It's better not to have that because obviously that's wood. It's better to have that not on there than have it on there. So we got to take that out. We got to take that all out. Grab this. Get a blower of some kind. To just to uh, help you out. All right, but taking this off, remember those four are separate. All right, so then you take this out. No reason to take the, the motor housing apart, which is plastic, by the way, for the orbital gears. There we go. There we go. Now this is my main concern. Like I showed you guys here, that dust, that dust is my main concern. So we, we gotta take that out. Let's uh, just clean that motor up really quick. Actually what you could do is take this out, maybe. Yep, take that out. And there's the motor. So that motor actually isn't that bad. It, it isn't that, it isn't too big. See, like all that power from a motor this size, it's incredible. It's incredible. And all tools are like this. Like this is, that's it. That's, that's the motor. You know, then this just, uh, the, the magnets go in sync. And then this just, it rotates this. And then the orbital gears in, uh, inside. Do the tra do transition from one set to another, then it creates a high speed with not too much power being used, and so it, it's it's ingenious on how these are actually made. It's ingen it's ingenious because I'm not sure if you could see. That looks that still looks pretty pretty good. Clean up the edge a little bit. So yeah, so that's that's just how it works. And motor goes in like that, rotates that, then and that's it. Then the the sequence goes in to where it rotates the chuck. Much better. Much better. Because yeah, the less stuff that you have on there, the 
the cooler it will run, the longer it'll last. That's, but look at that. That's seriously awesome that they completely covered the, the board, completely encased, which is good. All right, so I'm actually gonna take these and uh, rinse them off in the sink because I can while no motors in it. Then let it air dry, completely air dry for a while. All right, so this, this is all that a drill is. Everything's clean, everything's dry. It looks much better. As you can see, the motor is now 100% free of debris, which is good. All right, let's put this back together. Alrighty, so reassembly is absolutely simple. The only thing you need to make sure, there's two things you need to make sure when you reassemble a tool. That you put the forward and reverse back on properly and, and speed one and speed two on properly. Everything else pretty much just goes into the, into the clamshell and then it's self-explanatory. But those two you need to make sure you put on properly. There we go, that goes in there, get the bottom in first, and the next piece that just slides in there, LED light goes there, perfect, all right, yep, Re forward and reverse works just fine, that's in its spot, put the motor mount in, there we go, and we put this in, there we go, and put this in. The number one, you put the chuck on, the transmission symbols go up top. There we go. I'll put this back in. Now on these, there are on the forward and reverse, there are two springs. I believe one spring goes on each side of this. On this, because that's just the uh, speed one and speed two. So one spring goes on one side and the other spring goes on the other side. So those are their spots. It should be good. I think I got it. There's this that keeps the, the bearing right here aligned. So we gotta put the back on. Alrighty, there we go. Now let's put the rest of the screws in. Got the last four in the front to do. Speed two, speed one, that's drill, hammer drill, yep, that works. That completely just got squished. Yep. Stink bug was in there. Completely got squished. Alrighty, 
let's do a little test. One test just to see if I did, did this correctly. We're gonna do, we're gonna on speed one, we are gonna drive in one four inch lag. It should be able to do it. Everything seems to work. Here is good, it's on speed two, it's on drill, battery is full. Battery is full. All right, let's see if I did this correctly. All right, so ready, go. Yeah, wow, that, that so much power, it completely broke the, shattered the, the wood. Yep. Yep, I think I did it correctly. Look at that. I think I did it correctly. See, like, like I said, that, that little motor has so much power, and this goes for all tools. That It's a small motor, but it has so much power. So that's pretty much it. I just want to show you guys that really quick that you could actually simply take apart your tools, clean them, keep that motor clean. Your tool, I guarantee you, would last longer because the less debris on your tool, the less heat that will build up and the longer the tool lasts. And, and so, yeah, I highly recommend you guys take apart your tools once, once in a blue moon and just get the debris out of there. So that's pretty much it. If you found this video helpful, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.